hello everyone and welcome back to the channel dear students hope you are all doing well so today i am with the another super important question from the range kata method in the previous lecture we have discussed uh, the range kata method of fourth order in detail so i will show you the formula again so that we can recapitulate this formula over here so y of x1 is equal to y0 plus 1 by 6 k1 plus 2 k2 plus 2 k3 plus k4 so you have to keep this formula in mind also this formula will be given in your handbook where these k1 k2 k3 k4 values are given you have to find out these k values then put down those values in this particular equation you will get the required answer for y at x1 it may be anything 0 0.1 0 0.2 okay it will be mentioned in the question so we have here the super important question apply range cut method of fourth order to find y at 0 0.2 so this is x1 value 0 0.2 so you have to find y at 0 0.2 for an initial value problem dy by dx is equal to y minus x divided by y plus x so in the range cut method it is mentioned here dy by dx will be given it will be the function of x and y right and uh, initial condition that is y of x naught is equal to y naught it will be also given in the question that is here y of 0 is equal to 1 is the initial condition taking step size h is equal to 0 0.2 right so let's follow the procedure and get the required answer for this particular question so in the solution i can write down given data so given data i can write down here dy upon dx which is equal to y minus x divided by y plus x so this is the given function right so in in terms of x and y this function is so initial condition y of 0 is equal to 1 this means that this 0 is nothing but x naught 1 here is y naught see here in the definition itself y of x naught is equal to y naught so instead of x naught we have 0 instead of y naught we have here 1 so i can write down here x naught is equal to 0 and y naught is equal to 1 right this is all given data and step size h is equal to 0 0.2 i can write down also here h is equal to 0 0.2 this is all given now write down the formula for this range cutter method so y of x1 is equal to y naught plus 1 by 6 k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4 this is the formula for range cutter method so now i have to calculate first this k1 k2 k3 k4 so we have formulas for these k1 k2 so first of all i will calculate k1 so k1 is equal to h of f of x naught comma y naught this is the k1 value now h is equal to h is already given 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 multiplied by function of x naught comma y naught we have the function in terms of y and x here it is asking that function is in terms of x naught and y naught so put down these x naught values in instead of x here and y naught value instead of y i can write down on this side first see here instead of y i can write down y naught minus x naught divided by y naught plus x naught right are you getting my point so this is your y naught minus x naught so y naught value is 1 minus x naught value is 0 divided by y naught is 1 x naught is 0 so 1 divided by 1 is nothing but 1 over here so this is your y naught minus x naught so this is your whole function of i can say that this is the function of x naught and y naught so this value is we are getting 1 so no need to write f over here so function of x naught comma y naught it is equal to 1 so 0 0.2 multiplied by 1 is 0 0.2 this is your k1 value now proceed for the k2 see here k2 we have to find out so k2 we have the formula h of f of x naught plus h by 2 comma y naught plus k1 by 2 this is the formula for k2 so which is equal to h value is nothing but 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 function of x naught plus h by 2 x naught value is 0 plus h value is 0 0.2 divided by 2 comma y naught value is 1 plus k1 by sorry k1 we have calculated this is 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 divided by 2 now calculate first this much that is your 0 0.2 divided by 2 0.2 divided by 2 which is equal to 0 0.1 so f of 0 0.1 comma this much 1 plus division mode 0 0.2 divided by 2 which is equal to 1.1 so 1.1 is here and this is your 0 0.2 hope you are following now 
0 0.2 multiplied by function of 0 0.1 comma 1.1 this means that this is x this is y value you have to put down this in given equation i can write down on the side this is your function of 0 0.1 comma 1.1 see here now given function is y minus x so y value is nothing but 1.1 so 1.1 minus x value is 0 0.1 divided by y plus x so y value is again 1.1 plus x value is 0 0.1 which is equal to 1.1 minus 0.1 divided by 1.1 plus 0.1 which is equal to 0 0.8 triple 3 0 0.8 triple 3 is your function of 0 0.1 comma 1.1 so you can uh, put down this value instead of this multiplied by 0 0.8 triple 3 which is equal to so this multiplied by 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.2 which is equal to 0 0.1 triple 6 0 0.1 triple 6 is your answer for k2 right now we have to find out this k3 value so k3 we have formula h of f of x naught plus h by 2 comma y naught plus here we were having k1 now here we will be having k2 by Two. only slight difference is there so now h h value is 0 0.2 multiplied by function of x naught is nothing but 0 plus h value is 0 0.2 divided by 2 comma y naught value is 1 plus k2 we have calculated 0 0.1 triple 6 divided by 2 so 0 0.2 multiplied by function of this is 0 0.2 divided by 2 we have calculated this here that is 0 0.1 comma 1 plus this 1 plus 1 point sorry point triple six point one triple six divided by 2 which is equal to 1.0833 1.0833 now this is the function of x and y so x is 0 0.1 y is 1.0833 i can write down here function of 0 0.1 comma 1.0833 which is equal to given function is y minus x divided by y minus x divided by y plus x so y value is here 1.0833 minus x value is 0 0.1 divided by y plus x so 1.0833 plus 0 0.1 now calculate this so division mode 1.0833 minus 0 0.1 divided by 1.0833 plus uh, this is 0 0.1 which is equal to 0 0.8309 which is equal to 0. 8309 so you have to put down this f of uh, 0 0.1 comma 1.0833 here now so which is equal to 0 0.2 multiplied by this value is 0 0.8309 so this multiplied by 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.2 which is equal to 0 0.1 double 61 so k3 value we are getting 0 0.1 double 61 this is your k3 value now we have to find out the last slope value that is k4 so for k4 we have again the formula so here i can write down k4 is equal to h of f of x naught plus h comma y naught plus k3 k3 so k4 is equal to h value is 0 0.2 function of x naught value is 0 no need to write h value is 0 0.2 comma y naught value is 1 plus k3 value we have calculated here that is 0 0.1 double 6 1 0 0.1 double 6 1 this is our k3 value now which is equal to 0 0.2 multiplied by function of 0 0.2 comma this is your 1.1 double 6 1 now you have to put down these values in the function so function of 0 0.2 comma 1.661 double 6 1 right which is equal to y minus x so y value is 1.661 minus 0 0.2 divided by y plus x 1.661 plus 0 0.2 you calculate this much 1.661 minus 0 0.2 divided by 1.661 plus 0 0.2 which is equal to 0.7850 0 0.7850 so we have here 0 0.2 multiplied by function of this is 0 0.7850 which is equal to 
multiplied by 0.2 which is equal to sorry 0 0.7850 multiplied by 0.2 which is equal to 0 0.157 so 0 0.157 is our value for k4 so now we are done with all the slopes now we have to put down these k1 k2 k1 k2 k3 and k4 in the given equation that is y of x1 is equal to i can write down it again y naught plus 1 upon 6 k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4 so see here y naught value is nothing but 1 1 plus 1 upon 6 k1 value we have calculated 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 plus 2 multiplied by k2 k2 value is 0 0.1 then plus 2 multiplied by k3 k3 value is 0 0.1661 plus k4 k4 we have calculated here that is 0 0.157 now put down this so put down these values in the KLC now 1 plus 1 divided by 6 bracket start 0 0.2 plus 2 bracket start 0 0.166 right plus 2 multiplied by 0 0.1661 plus 0 0.157 bracket close which is equal to 1.1704 so y at x1 so x1 value was y at 0 0.2 so y at 0 0.2 we are getting 1.1704 this is our whole answer for this particular question sorry make a small correction over here i have done a mistake so students make it a little bit correct i have written it wrong over here so this is 0 0.2 and 1.1661 i have written only 661 so this is 1.1661 so now you have to make it the kit so you have to so you have to make the calculation right over here so this is your 1.1661 minus 0.2 divided by 1.1661 plus 0.2 which is equal to we are getting 0 0.7071 so 0 0.7071 is your f of 0 0.2 and 1.1661 now you have to multiply this 0 0.7071 here 7071 multiplied by 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.2 which is equal to 0 0.1414 so k4 value is 0 0.1414 this is our k4 calculation now put down this value here instead of this 0 0.1414 so let's calculate it so now again i have to calculate this now 1 plus 1 by 6 bracket start 0 0.2 plus 2 multiplied by 0 0.1666 6 bracket close plus 2 multiplied by 0 0.1661 bracket close plus 0.1414 bracket close which is equal to 1.1678 so y of 0 0.2 is equal to 1.1678 this is the correct answer for your particular question make sure your answers should be right in the examination otherwise you will lose the marks so one small mistake can create a big changes in the answers over there so make sure you will kept this thing in mind and be aware of these Kind of mistakes so i'm just shooting the video over here so there may be some mistakes so kindly recheck it again kindly recheck the answers uh, while practicing these type of questions okay so i hope you have understood this problem very well so make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you